it's actually called the Rossellino variation in the Wim Wilson's Rossellino variation of the Sicilian defence. is Tongi Osterlink. He's on his um, third time here. Hasn't had too much success so far. And he's dropped a pawn already, unfortunately. So uh, he's in a bit of trouble. Uh, only three moves down. Okay, and uh, solid Caro come from um, Givan Abene from the American. Um, so. Okay, and this is um, a quite a common mistake um, th that uh, was made by Euron uh, Fossett. And um, it, it was advancing the black pawn to f6, which uh, has weakened uh, the diagonal from a2 to g8. And the bishop now uh, is in a very threatening position um, against, uh, against the black king. So actually, black will have difficulty getting his king uh, into safety. So uh, that's actually uh, the sort of mistake I've seen quite a lot of uh, this weekend. So if we want Belgian chess to improve, we better try and eliminate some of these little errors. This is a um, very bold, um, aggressive move in the center of the board. Unfortunately, it's tactically completely unsound. And um, uh, Gary has Im immediately um, exploited the uh, mistake because uh, the bishop on b5 uh, is pinning the, um, the knight to the king. This is uh, Hubert van Ho from, um, oh, sorry, Pant de Vever, excuse me. Yeah, so we'll see how good the politicians play. Actually, pretty well so far. Uh, very sound um, defensive setup. And in fact, I once defeated Gary Kasparov myself with a not quite the same opening, but something. Um, similar so it's um sort of a little bit in the style of chigorin not quite but it's um along those lines so very solid uh, very very solid play there and uh here on this board uh, it's an unusual variation actually um uh of the 
Spanish opening. And uh, Black has placed the, the knight on the, um, the rim of the board. But it, it has a reasonable pedigree. Uh, it's been played by um, Bobby Fisher on one occasion. And um, it's even been played by me on one occasion, actually. So um, it's, um, it's a risky move, risky move to play against Kasparov. But um, yeah, why not? Gary shaking his head there. These are the little sort of problems. I, I can't see the position, unfortunately, but these are the little sort of problems that um, can give the uh, simultaneous player some headache when, um, you know, he has to make some uh, calculations earlier on. He really wants to be making a lot of routine moves and not have to... Have to um, trouble himself uh, too much. Um, actually, I was quite impressed uh, with Nicola Capone um, at the, the weekend. He played um, very nice um, uh, Sicilian defense against me, but uh, he's got a little bit of a dubious position um, at the moment. Okay. Uh, yep. I think uh, Jan Kalavat is he's doing okay. He's just been cheated a little bit um, because um, uh, he really had to take that uh, central pawn, which has just advanced. So um, he's under a little bit of pressure uh, at the moment. Well, I've got a good view here of the, the boards. Actually, this is um, uh, some sort of heavy uh, theory. It's the advanced variation of the um, uh, Caro Khan. And, and black is actually very solidly uh, placed there. So the gentleman from the American Embassy um, has obviously played this game before. And um, he's... Um, developed his bishop uh, very nicely uh, outside the pawn chain and it's, it's actively placed um, but it's um, in approximate balance I would say maybe slightly better for white the position so here is uh, our president Yeah, and here we are on board five, uh, Christian Layson. And uh, yeah, he's um, in very, very uh, deep trouble uh, because um, now uh, Kasparov's bishop is um, uh, attacking the queen and uh, the king is behind it. And uh, to avoid the loss of his queen, he will have to bring out his um, knight to c6, but then uh, white will advance a pawn in the center, uh, which will win a piece. So actually, um, I'm afraid to say that this game is already decided at this uh, early stage.